Hi there, I'm Wake Speed Jr. I'm Keith Jones. We're both with Total Seal. And today we want to talk to you about the difference between a wrist pin and a piston ring. Now, you may be wondering, well, one's a pin and one's a ring. Ah, but this is where it gets interesting. Keith, my humble opinion, one of these is a structural component of the piston and one of them is a piston ring. <laughs> I agree with that 100%. <laughs> so we all know that the pin is actually the backbone of the piston. Now this thing's going up and down. It's made out of aluminum. There's all kinds of stresses and strains on that piston. Yep. That pin is holding all that together. It's the backbone of the piston. It, it's your structural support. It's the foundation. There you go, I like that, the foundation. Without that pin, guess what? All this is folding, moving, bending, pinching, right, clamping. You need this to be a strong part. Absolutely. You know, we've got some common friends from the pro stock arena that have seen what happens when you make this too light and too thin. If it starts to sh go oval and not round, yeah, bad things happen. You've got problems. House is only as good as the foundation. Just a quick story. Mm -hmm. Customer doing big diesel pullers, big power, Ooh, yeah. 250 That's pounds. That's some cylinder pressure there. Yeah. Oh boy, is it. All of a sudden, he's having ring problems. And we kept digging and digging and digging. And what we come to find out is they use the same length pin on one bore size. And then we made the big, well, I shouldn't say we, he made the bore size a lot bigger, kept using that same pin. Ooh. Guess what? Whole lot of piston with no support in it. Right, more area to move. And it was binding the rings up in the grooves. Got it, All right? Because so that, so that's a structural support. And it's a great se segue to the fact that the piston ring is a seal. It is not the structural component. Even if that piston's moving, no matter what thickness of the ring, bad things are gonna happen. Bad things are gonna happen. Like Absolutely. I said, binds in the groove, what happens? Ring seals out the door. And if you think about it like this, if that ring stops doing its job, what happens? Hot combustion gases, fluids, flame, all go down the side of that cylinder. You think about something, oh, it just, it lost the ring. Well, in the big picture, okay, it lost the ring. But why? Black Death the skirt locked the piston up, mm -hmm. ripped that wrist pin out of the piston, and shot the rod through the side of the block. All because of simple thing. Well, it lost ring seal. Okay. So, this is not a structural component of the piston, which means you don't have to be afraid of going to a thinner ring and it hurting the piston. It's not going to hurt it anyway. If anything, that thinner ring is going to have better bore conformability. It's going to follow that cylinder better. It, it, it's, an, it's an odd thing. Doing what we do all day and as long as we've done it, there was that day where you know the 564 ring and then you had that skinny 16th inch ring. Man, right. I'm not sure about that 16th. Then it was Man, that old 43. Oh, 43. oh. <laughs> you know, oh that's, that's high end racing that's stuff. Where you rebuild it every race. Can't put that in there. That's, that no. will never hold up. But the reality is, there up. are rings now that are half the thickness of an 043 that run what? At least three or four, five times the life of what that 043 ring did Absolutely. in a race application. Oh, in full race. And go back to production. There are production engines today that you're going to expect to get 200 plus thousand miles out of mm -hmm. that have thinner rings than 043 stock. From the factory. From the factory, with a warranty. Exactly. <laughs> so I hope you, this idea of there is a difference between a piston ring and a wrist pin, one of them is structural, one of them's not. This one you want it to be strong and heavy and all that. Those are good properties yes, you want of this. Yep. This is a seal. You don't need to be stuck on it being thick, heavy, big. No. Nope. You know what? You wouldn't put a uh, cast iron gasket between your cylinder head and block and think it's going to seal very well. Not for long. Right. You want it to be flexible and pliable. Piston ring needs to be more like that gasket than it does a cylinder head. It's got to be able to move and conform and bend, move heat out of everything. Keep right. That, you know, keep that piston cool. That thinner, lighter ring is going to survive that environment. Don't be afraid of it. It is the modern way. Right. Have you even seen thinner rings make less engine temperature because it reduces friction. Lower friction. 
Piston ring, thinner, lighter, better. Wrist pin, thicker, stronger, better. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.